welcome to day two of my DA-40 Tundra trip with Premier Aircraft Sales and Diamond Aircraft. I'm currently flying IFR as you can see, so this video will have me flying IFR for the first time alone and in this beautiful G-1000 Autopilot Diamond. So very excited for you guys to fly along with me. To well, So I just left from Lexington, Kentucky and I'm heading to uh, Springfield, I believe, check the state, but um, I'm going to Springfield and it should be VFR where I'm going. If it's not, I did brief a bunch of approaches, so I'm excited you might see me uh, shoot an approach or I might come in VFR, either way it'll be a nice flight. Yeah, well, we're just going to get to Springfield and we'll make a decision uh, if we want to fly to Dallas or not tonight. There's still some storms over there, so uh, we will see about that and yeah. Hope you enjoy this flight with me. Everything looks good, still warming up. Let's do PFD has no enunciations except for pedo heat, which is fine. Autopilot disconnect tone noted, it was noted. Manual trim, let's make sure our trim wheel or electric trim is working. Autopilot uh, disconnect switch, press. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put in a heading here. Let's go ahead, there we go, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna turn the heading over here, let's do autopilot heading mode. You can see it's turning towards me. I can fight it, I can temporarily disconnect it, and I can disconnect it with my red. You can go around button, press and check. Go around works. Okay, we can go ahead and turn off. Our autopilot, turn all lights on as required. Taxi parking, brake relief, fuel pumps. There's planes behind me, so I'm gonna wait. Fuel pumps are off. Go ahead and throw that down. Yeah, everything looks good. I've idled for about two minutes. Looks like everyone's using runway 22. We're gonna get all of our. Uh, where's my phone? Frequencies loaded first. Let's listen to. 622 Zulu, wind 3108, visibility 3 quarter. Mist. Ceiling 300 overcast, temperature 14, 2.13, altimeter 2998. Islas Perch and East Landing and departing runway 22. Notum, obstruction drawer 25 nautical miles northeast Lexington, 60 feet flag and not lighted. Obstruction tile light 4.7 nautical miles north northeast Lexington, 320.9 feet HEL, unserviceable. Hazardous weather information for Kentucky and surrounding states, available on flight service frequencies. Eyes on initial contact. We have Zulu. All right. Awesome. Now we're over to Lexington clearance. Go ahead and put my flight plan in. Just, and I've got my craft all ready to go. And Lexington clearance. This is Diamond 315 Pop is here with a westbound departure to Springfield, Kilo, Sierra, Gulf, Foxtrot. Roger, and uh, one, once again, the call sign. Uh, Diamond 315 Pop is here. 315 Pop is here. Gotcha. Yeah, they print out 30 minutes in advance, so they should be able to find us. Stand by for Pop Pops here. <laughs> I gave myself a lot of time. <laughs> So as you can see, when I fly IFR, I have a little notepad so I can remember everything. Okay, flight plan looks good. Diamond 5, Papa Sierra, you're clear to the Springfield Airport as filed. On departure, climb maintain 3,000. Expect 4,000 in one zero minute. Departure frequency 120.15, squawk 4017. All right, cleared as filed at 3,000. Expect 4,000 at one zero minutes. Uh, frequency 120.15 and squawk 4017 for 5, Papa Sierra. Diamond 5, Papa Siri, back is correct. And when you get a chance, what's the on-course heading from uh, Lexington to Beverly? Looks like heading 273 for 5, Papa Siri. Diamond 5, Papa Siri, thanks. Reback was correct. Alpha's current. Advise ready to taxi. We'll call for 5, Papa Siri. So I'm um, as filed, 3,000 after 10 minutes. Expect 4,000. Frequency, I got 1, 2. I'm going to put that in right now. 1, 2, 0. 0.15. That's approach. I'm going to come up here to Lexington ground. <laughs> she should be nice and warm at this point. Yeah, she's getting there. Still got to warm her up a little bit more. All right, Lexington ground. I'm in 315 Pop Sierra at Signature with Alpha ready to taxi for a run up and then uh, to the active. Number 315 Pop Sierra, runway 22, taxi via Tango 1 Alpha. Runway 22, back taxi via Tango 1 Alpha for 5 Pop Sierra. Okay, Tango 1 Alpha. And, uh, good afternoon. Air 35, signature with Alpha Ready Taxi. Uh, got the tier site. Diamond 5, Papa Sierra, and uh, you're going to follow the uh, Falcon that's about to taxi out. 
Sounds good. Following the Falcon for five up Sierra. Starker 35, ground, runway 22, taxi via Tango 1 Alpha. Tango 1 Alpha, 22, Starker 35, thanks. All right, take my break off. This is exciting, guys. Believe it or not, this is my first time IFR alone. I'm going to go ahead and put in 3,000 for my first altitude. All right, let's follow this guy. Whew, all right. Big day. What gorgeous weather, guys. Woo, lovely. What I'm flying through is not convective, though. I made sure to give the convective cell to the south of me a really wide berth. No, thank you. I feel like such a baby around all these jets. <laughs> Honestly, I would not have done this if it wasn't with the G1000 because I do not have any experience shooting approaches on the old analog instruments. So I also got my instrument rating in a diamond on a G1000. So I'm pretty uh, set up <laughs> to do well this trip, which is super important when you're flying IFR. I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, let's get to the ground. Can I just uh, do my run up here? Is there a specific place you'd like me for five pops here? No, that's fine. You can contact Tower 1100.1. Over to Tower 1, ready. Five pops here, thanks. Before takeoff, parking brake set. Safety harnesses are good. I'm gonna bring her back to idle. There are warning announcements. None flight controls are free and correct. Elevator trim is to takeoff. Fuel valve is checked normal. Striker breakers are all in. Flaps to takeoff, to landing, and back to takeoff. Amex 2263 is on Alpha Park and Alpha 4. Hard, we're good. Enunciations, everything's in the green. We're ready to go. Both engine and gearbox. It's easier for you can take green Tango before you see the your test. Well. Power idle. RPM check below 1000. Yep, fuel pumps check off. They are off. Motor switch check auto. Yep. Engine instruments green, parking brake is set. All right, ECU test, just checking one more time, everything's in the green. Yep, holding brakes, and we have to hang onto this button before, or you have to hold the button and make sure you hold it through this whole thing or else you can mess it up. So one, two, three, let's boogie. It's checking our ECUs, we have two of them in this plane, and it's doing all of our checks for our prop engine. It's very nice, I just sit here and I hold a button, and I just gotta wait until it's done with everything. And it looks good. How to do our ECU, uh, or our voter switch test. So we're gonna go up to A. It was on B, so you can hear it just switched. Everything still looks good. Back to auto, switch back to B. Over to B, and it's actually on B right now. That's how you can tell. Everything still looks good on both though. Okay, take off. We wanna have our landing light on. Strobes are coming on. Fuel pump is coming on, and flaps are ready to take off. Everything looks good. Okay, parking brake. Release. Pulse one more time. Over to tower. In Lexington Tower, this is Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, holding short runway 22, ready for departure. Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, Alexa Tower, turn right heading 270, runway 22, clear for takeoff. Right heading 270 and 22, clear for takeoff by Papa Sierra. All right, everything's in the green. Let's go. Airspeed's alive, and I'll also take off. Just want to take off a little bit early. There we go. Take off good. Make sure that's closed. Bringing load back to 92%. That's coming up. Fuel pump coming on. Come back. Bad, 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 bad. Road approach. Thanks for your help. Bye, Bob Sierra. Three limited off contact. Global approach 132.07. And approach, this is Diamond 315 Pops here, just part out of Lexington, climbing for 3000, heading 270. Pops here, Lexington, for the contact, climbing team. 4000, clear direct Beverly for 5 Pops here. Alright, 4000, okay, we're good. Gonna do a climbing left turn. Damn, this is crazy. Let's do autopilot. Right, we're going. 12 degrees Celsius outside. Climbing 85. All my temps still look good. And we're capturing 4,000 feet. GPS, everything looks good on our autopilot. Ages are all in the green. And it's actually really bright. <laughs> it's really strange. Whew, 
All right, just took off out of Lexington, Kentucky, heading to Springfield, uh, I believe Arkansas, and I've got 400 nautical miles I'm going direct, then I'm planning to, show, to shoot the ILS into runway 14 for Springfield. Currently 4,000, going about 115, and true airspeed of 122, 75% power load. Everything's looking good. OAT is holding at 10 degrees, which is what I want to see. Should be, it says about four hours in route. I have a little over five hours of fuel on board, which means I am definitely, I'm about 20 minutes over my 45 minute um, fuel reserve for IFR. So my plan, if I can't get into Springfield, which is showing is going to be 1,500 feet overcast, is to go to the north where the storm kind of, it's kind of more moving through the south of the U.S. So when I go north, it's actually going to be VFR, close to my um, alternate. And there's a couple airports on the way with approaches should I need to land sooner. Uh, for whatever reason, this is a new plane. Um, the fuel... Uh, the burn at 80% should be about seven gallons. Yeah, so we can go over here on our engine tab and endurance, it says four hour, five hours and 46 minutes. So I should be good to go. I used one gallon while I was sitting on the runway. Number five, Papa Sierra, contact Louisville approach on 132.07. 3207 for five, Papa Sierra. This is 1.1. And approach, this is Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, 4000 level. Diamond 3. Uh, Three zero 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 for five up zero. And as you can see, the workload is a lot more when you're flying IFR. So you really want to bring all that you can to your aid. Make sure you're staying very vigilant. It's extremely helpful to have an autopilot in this situation because I can focus on things like navigation um, and weather. When you're flying without an autopilot in IFR, it can actually be pretty. Um, Pretty costing. Speed approach, this is Diamond 315 Papa Sierra, level 4000, heading 252. Remember 315 Papa Sierra, level approach, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's actually kind of fun. I do actually enjoy instrument flying. Honestly, it helps talking to you guys. It feels like I'm not alone. But, yep, we just have to respect it. So when I get a little closer to uh, my destination, I'm going to take a good long while and I'm going to really, really brief this approach. Make sure I'm all nice and prepared. I popped Stop out! Do you see that? But I'm above the clouds. This is very exciting. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Love it. Don Pop is here, turn right on course. Right on course for five pops here. All right, let's go. Flight plan, direct, enter, enter, and we'll do, uh, let's see, nav mode. It's important to, that you input where you want to go right before you hit nav or else you're just your airplane's going to be doing things you don't want it to do Boogie back he kind of got me around the main precipitation i was worried about and it looks like i'm about to go back into the clouds here in a moment but this was pretty and here we are back in the clouds kind of crazy being up here by yourself <laughs> wow a little spooky but very pretty <laughs> Approach Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, level 4000. Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, Evansville approach, can you hear me? I can hear you for 5 Papa Sierra. Diamond 5 Papa Sierra, roger, Evansville, altimeter 3007. 3007 for 5 Papa Sierra. King Air 8128.3. So she was probably trying to talk to me too, and <laughs> we couldn't hear each other. So, it's always good to know your last comp procedures when you're flying IFR, which I did an IFR refresher before I climbed into this plane. <laughs> I have done my six hits and stuff before this. So I just also wanted to talk about like, this is where I'm sitting right now, probably one of my favorite parts of aviation. I'm like alone up here on like this ocean of clouds and it's just so beautiful. It's pretty amazing, you know, but like we as, a, as people get to do this and I feel blessed every time I'm up here and I get to see something like this. Cause you just kind of know, like not a lot of people like the grand scheme of things have really seen this before. Yep, feeling blessed. I've been hanging out up here for the last like, 30 minutes. Um, currently we are in Illinois, just kind of to, on the Southern tip of Illinois. It looks like near the Ohio River. 
but um, I've got about an hour and 45 minutes to go. I have so far, I'm actually starting to see some of the uh, ground break through the clouds. So, I mean, they're kind of dissipating. It's showing VFR clear sky at my destination now. So I'm excited. I mean, as fun as it would be to shoot an approach, it uh, looks like I might not need to this trip, but uh, stay tuned. It definitely could happen in the future. <laughs> So we've officially, like, I'm seeing the ground right now. This is exciting. We're almost there. The clouds are starting to break up. You can see here. <laughs> so happy. Hello, people. Hello, world. We're back. Cool. Well, we're almost there. We're about an hour and 20 minutes out. We're still cruising 4,000 feet. We're doing 140 over the ground. So we actually have a pretty good tailwind right now. So that's really helpful. I'm looking down, there's like this really giant, hard, compact, like, sandy shoal from like a river. I'm flying a DA-40 Tundra. I've got tires for this. It's very tempting. I'm gonna leave all the bush flying though for the owner. So I actually just uh, cancelled my IFR uh, flight plan and my IFR clearance because it is sunny out, so we are completely VFR. I felt comfortable canceling at that point. And we are on our way. We are an hour out from Springfield. I realized the airport I was trying to get to last time, which is Bentonville, which has a really cool restaurant on a lake. It's super pretty. I realized it's actually not that far from uh, Springfield. So I've decided to um, divert to Bentonville, Arkansas, which I'm excited to show you guys because I really liked it the first time I went there. I thought it was really cool. So yeah, we're en route there. It only really tacked on another like 10 minutes, so it's not really going to make any difference with our fuel burn. I had plenty of fuel left to go. Um, it also says it's clear below 12,000, so weather is not going to be an issue, and it's even closer to Fort Worth, so... Check, check, check. All of the good things about it. Yeah, Bedville traffic, Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, about 13 miles to the northeast. We're going to be for a left down on runway 35, Bedville. All right, fuel transfer looks good. Tanks are even. It's going to be a bit of a uh, crosswind landing. It can never be easy, can it? <laughs> All right. We just got one guy in the pattern. Okay, let's go down to... 2000. Yeah, Benville traffic, Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, seven miles to the northeast, inbound for the left down on runway 35, Benville. Yeah, Benville traffic, Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, on an extended left down on runway 35, about four miles out, uh, Benville. Nice town, looks like there's some food for me. Benville traffic, Diamond 315, Papa Sierra, on the left down on runway 35, Benville. All right, gonna do my landing checklist. Landing light is on, fuel pump coming on. And fuel looks good. And flaps, we get in the water. So cool, if you can see this. All right, let's check out our windsock. If we can see it, there's so many airports here. Our Benville traffic diamond, 315 Papa Sierra, lift base runway 35 Benville. There she is. Take off flaps are in. This is kind of a short airport, isn't it? Keep up some power, she gets nice and slow. I do need to kind of go down. Benville traffic, Diamond 315, Pop Sierra, final runway 35. Approach that, 3-6. Landing flaps coming in. Interesting, it says 3-5 on four flight. I want to get too slow, carrying a little bit of power. Let's trim my nose up a little bit to help me out. Traffic Diamond 315 Papa Sierra, exiting runway 36 on Alpha 3. Benville. Such a cool airport. Oh my gosh, I love how many people are here. So cool. 
lots of different planes. This is the gateway to the Ozarks, guys. 